Okay. Here we are again. Super Smash Brothers melee moment. My tailbone aches, but we'll talk about that later. We'll watch through the intro, and then we will uh, get started in a few minutes. Hey Marie, how's it going? Welcome back. We're just about ready to get started. Figured we'd wait about another eh, 45 seconds-ish. And then we'll get moving. neck loose even in this particular case even if I'm not working out today <laughs> and Conker's here as well it's going good Conker how's it going for you like I said to Marie just about ready to get started I think my clock is about to tick over to 431 at the moment so we'll get started now and by the time I'm done with the intro it'll be 432 so we'll already be two minutes late <laughs> Okay, so, I completely blanked on what I was going to say right here. What was I going to say right here? Oh, that's right, it's on the other tab on my phone, that's why I forgot, because I have decided, despite the fact that I did not make notes for this game, to make a few small notes for myself. Just for the, like, basically, this is what we might accomplish over the next stream, so here's what you'll need to see. I only did it in terms of Moonfish and Chams, though. I still think that the discoveries are important in keeping the game's mystique of this big, vast, unknown world that you need to explore. Excuse me. So, I said, I will not write down where the discoveries are. We'll go find them on our own. And that way it'll feel a little more like an adventure and we'll feel more like the swashbuckling explorers I think the game wants you to feel like. So, uh, yeah, I figure that's the plan for that. But I know where the moonfish and the chams are now, so that'll be helpful. Probably not with this black spot thing, but we'll figure that out later. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends, the stream edition. Last time, we saved our family and friends from value and airspace, where they were about to be summarily executed for not doing exactly what the Empire tells them to do at all times, every time. And uh, then we kind of just dicked around and explored a little bit, because Fina's in our party, but she's a low level. She started at level one, so we kind of got to catch her up a little bit. And today we're going to start on that, but before we do that, you can hear that uh, 
Cupel's having a bit of a conniption, so let's have a look around up here. There we are. And yeah, there's a cham up here so we can feed him. He must consume to become better weapon. Uh, like I said, I think I said last time, don't worry about what you feed Cupel for right now. We'll eventually get something that will allow us to feed him in a custom way, which will allow him to become the weapon that I want him to become in the end game. So, yeah. Doing all right just at home. Sounds like a good thing, Conquer. Sometimes it's nice to just chill at home. You went out and paid to pack and ship your shit from your old company so it can be returned. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just, just get the catharsis from it, you know, be like, I don't need this shit anymore! <laughs> throw it out, basically. Well, not throw it out, but, you know, ship it back to them and be like, Nope! You can keep it! I don't need it. Yeah, Fina is underleveled AF. What's the EXP share plus lucky egg combo in this game? <laughs> uh, loopers. Loopers are the closest thing to all of the above. Unfortunately, uh... I don't think, unless you, like, KO Vice and Aka and Drachma and have Fina basically solo stuff, I don't think she's going to be, like, on the same experience level as the rest of the party, unfortunately, for ever, basically, because I don't... As far as I know, there's no way for her to earn additional experience, so she'll always be, like, 3,000 experience behind. Which, I mean, okay, that's fine, I guess, no big deal. I should probably feed Cubal that Cham that we just got, though because that's kind of good for him. Matter of fact, so good for him, he turned into a new weapon, the Cupel Blade. Let's take a look. Yes, yeah, so now he can turn into a knife. That's not a knife. That's not a knife either. That's a knife. All right. Uh, anyway, enough digging around in here. Let's go back to the ship. There's a couple of things that I want to go get. Well, a couple things I wanted to go get. Uh, I was originally going to go fishing right now and try to get some sky sardines because we need them for a side quest for a type of cham later. But as it turns out, you get 50 of them from Doc for one of the Moonfish rewards, so we're not going to do that. Instead, that's probably either a Nazarin airship or that's the Black Spot airship that we were referred to. I thought it was West though. I don't know. Uh, point is, we're not going to be going to do any of that just yet. We're going to go back to Shrine Island because there's another cham we can pick up over there that I completely missed before. And also, I remembered where I think one of the discoveries is over here. It's like right by this naked rock here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, but it's like supposed to be. Yep, right about there. It's like due, I think, either west or north of the Sky Coral. The Silver Moon Pit. So there we go. Only small islands such as Pirate Isle and Shrine Isle lie in the area where the Silver Moonstones fall, so deposits this large are very hard to come across. Legends say that Silver Moonstones hold the powers of life, but the truth remains unknown. They are correct, though. Silver Moonstones do hold the power of life, as Fina demonstrated with her silver magic before. Yeah, uh, Rissan is one of the spells. Incidentally, speaking of Rissan, we actually do want Fina to start working on silver magic eventually here, because... Uh, basically, later on in the game, in order to get a certain thing that you can get, that's a mechanic that we don't have yet, someone needs to know Rizalem. So, and that's the fourth level silver spell, and Fina is the most likely to get it first because A, she's a Sylvite, and B, uh, she has the first two silver magic spells already. So, since she's most likely to get it, we will. Uh, Try to get that for her. I need to get her a few more elementary spells first, like Pyrie and uh, Crystalize, but once we get those, I think we'll be in good shape, so. You don't understand. At the beginning of the pandemic, they didn't even have enough laptops for everyone because your leadership at the time said their leadership had been told that we wouldn't work remotely unless the government shut down offices. Guess what? That happened, and we weren't prepared. So some of us, like me, had to take the desktops from the office home. Great. <laughs> Which also means they made us take the monitors hooked up to those desktops, too. I did not need all that shit. The desktop was enough. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I can't even imagine. Oh boy. But yeah, definitely ship that shit back since you definitely don't need it anymore. How some of these companies can't have an ounce of foresight, I don't know. Good thing you're out of there now, though. Yes, that's true. It's always good to get out of there and get yourself into a better situation. Uh, Fina, you already have Sacri and Noxy, right? Yeah, so you're probably good to start learning some red magic. Let's get you Pyrie, and then we'll work on Crystal as after that, I think. So. 
uh, why don't you help Drachma out with killing the Maraca? I don't know if that'll work because Drachma probably won't hit it, but, you know. Bisonaka can take out the grouper. Grouder? Grouder? He's grouchy. I don't know. And then it'll work on this after. He did, in fact, turn into a knife. That's great. And it was a back attack, so I'm, I'm not even all that concerned, honestly. It's just whatever. Just attack and we'll be good. Yep. They're cheap skates, to be honest. You were hired on at 15 an hour, got a 2% raise after one and a half years totaling, making 15.30 an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I've, I've heard that song and dance before with other jobs, I'll tell you what. More recent recruiters you've gotten have all said that they get can get you hired for 20 an hour. Same company. Same company. Why am I not shocked? <laughs> oh boy. That's just great. Uh, let's see. We're looking for this right here, actually. Shrine Island. I forgot exactly where it was, but I was like, I think it's a little bit more like Cardinal North South from here, so. Started turning, and here we are. Now, the champ that we're looking for is close to the lowest level, and I don't remember if the temple reset or not after we did this. It looks like it didn't, because the treasure chest is still on the ground floor there now. So, we might be close to the bottom at the moment. If we're not, I'm okay with it, because Fina needs experience anyway, but, you know. Yeah, no, you never would have made a damn thing at that company. There was no room to maneuver up and down, as far as I'm aware, from what you've told me. And, yeah, they weren't exactly giving you much money either, so. Hey, Sephikos here. How are you doing? Just doing chores off and on. Sounds like a plan. Not a bad idea to do that while listening to a stream. I think it's a good idea. We're doing a little, like Marie said, cham hunting right now. Just checking around to get Fina some experience, some levels, all that other stuff. It's a little tough to level her at the beginning of the game, though, because when you recruit her, you've got four characters in the party, so that splits all of the experience you get by a quarter to everybody. Basically, everybody gets one quarter of the normal experience they get. So that's a little bit of a problem, but you know, we'll deal with it. It's fine. Um, you can't take out a Maratha by yourself, right? Surely not. Uh, I could have you fight the Seeker and then... See if Drachma can take out the Maraca. Probably not, because, you know, he he doesn't exactly have accuracy. See? It's okay, though. I could just Alpha Storm, I guess, but, you know. I'd take out the Seeker first, because he still actually has some damage to him. So. Uh, sir, if you're gonna run, you should probably turn the opposite direction to run, because it's not really gonna work otherwise. I guess instead of just physically attacking with everybody, I could actually be doing strategically and using Alpha Storm and that sort of stuff, since we have the SP, but... You know. That would require brain power on my part, and sometimes we, uh... Sometimes we don't have that. <laughs> so... Well, at least Fina's getting some spells out of all of this. That's good. It'll make her a lot more valuable as a party member, because her will is a lot higher than Cupel's attack, for the most part, so... Especially once she starts getting closer to our level, she'll be a house with her magic attack. Yes, see, you need a Lucky Egg. Didn't know the Lucky Egg existed in Pokemon until Black and White gave you a free one. What the fuck is this? Was this in the older games? Google's, oh, it's a held item on Wild Chansey. No wonder I've never seen this, yeah. It was a little tough to get in other games, so... You could use strategy, but that, that'd require effort, yeah, and sometimes you do want a lizard brain. Sometimes it's just easier, you know, so... Uh, here I might want to actually do something, though, because that looper is there and he takes no damage from, uh, anything out- like, fire elemental attacks, so I might want to actually use some strategy here. Like, uh, Webley? Yeah, Webley wouldn't be a bad idea, actually, and then I can just take out the Flestics with everybody else, so... Use it on looper. Hell, we might not even have to take out the Flestics, because Webley might do that for me, even though they're blue. But we'll see. Nah, Webley's uh, AoE isn't really that big, unfortunately. Gets bigger the higher level of spell you get, but yeah, it's it's supposed to be a circle AoE. I just didn't get a chance to demonstrate it there because they weren't packed compactly enough there. 